Hey everybody, welcome back for round two. Our starting hand looks pretty good, and we're on the we're on the play. Um, I think I go ahead and uh, drop this Toppelgeist on turn one, just so it can start cracking in every turn. Um, I think I would rather get that uh, early damage lead, since I I can go uh, one drop into two drop and then drop vessel. I uh, I might keep it. Uh, if this was like game two and I knew that he had a really controlling deck, I might uh, I might keep it and hold it for uh, a good attack in like later on in the game. But um, I think without knowing what his deck looks like, it's fine doing it like this. So no two drop on turn two. Wow, he's, is he flooded maybe? Wait, so he pitches a land. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, drew another land, okay. Let's uh, just crack in and hold up Vessel of Ephemera, I guess. What could he be splashing in white? And why is he not playing anything on four mana? Wow. This is a little bonkers. He hasn't played anything for four, four turns. He, he's just going to die here. Five colors. What is he playing? And how did he get through round one? <laughs> wow. And Weirding Wood. I th think he just dies this turn, doesn't he? Five, six, seven. Yeah, he just dies. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I mean, I didn't see a thing in it from his deck. I saw Weirding Wood and Tormenting Voice. Um, He might be primary red. I, I have no idea what he's doing, honestly. <laughs> Maybe green, red, five color. Good. I have no idea. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to ship it back as is. I didn't see a thing from his deck, so I, I couldn't tell you what what I would need to bring in for it. I think this is a good start. Um, it's no one drop, two drop, but two drop, two drop isn't too bad. Oh, Shard of Broken Glass. Cool. Whether I drop the Quilled Wolf or the Logger will depend on what he drops on turn two. I will be dropping the Wolf on turn two. Because that way he's forced to blow mana if he wants to, if he wants to trade. He could have a combat trick. And if he does, that's fine. Yeah, I'd have no problem with him not having a turn three. Hmm. Let's, uh, just run out this graph mole, I guess. 
Um, I'm putting this on the graph mold because um, if I want to attack with it next turn, I won't need to waste the mana moving the shard around because I'm more likely to attack with it if it bounces off of something. Sure. I am just drawing so much land. Um... Yeah. Let's see. If I swing in and he double blocks, that's six toughness. I'll just move this over and let them flip. Um, his creatures are a little better than mine, but I can catch him with tenacity if I need to. And it's not like he has trample. Well, that was unfortunate. I think I just lose this game. That dual shot. He brought in he brought in dual shot after I showed him all those one toughness creatures. And now I'm getting punished for it because I just I'm drawing into nothing but lands. I guess I dropped the Quilled Wolf and hold up Tenacity this time around. I couldn't use it last time because um, because I had the one damage marked on the Graph Mole. Honestly, I have to just tenacity and double block and and hope he doesn't have a combat trick because that's the only way I get back into this into this game at this point. If he has a combat trick or a piece of removal, I'm just dead. So there it is. Okay. Sure. Let's, um... Let's drop Sinister Concoction. And since I don't have the... Since I can't drop my land and hold up Sinister Concoction, I'm just going to move this Shard of Broken Glass over so that my wolf trades. It might deter him from attacking. I'm going to I'm going to trade for this uh for this 4-3 here cuz he's going to he's going to pump he's going to give that 3-3 three, three double strike and then I'm just going to kill it. Well, I'm glad I hit a land there. <laughs> it would have been nice to uh would have been nice to hit that 
when I had creatures on board, but oh well. If he attacks, I just have to block because I don't have... Um... Okay, that's good for me. I was going to say, because I don't have any more creatures to block with right now. And I can't just afford to take the damage. Um, if he attacks with both, I'll just block with both, because he's going to eat one, and then I'll... Uh... Okay. Well, I have to... I have to get the... I have to get the lands out of my deck. Um, I don't think I have any reason to hold this land, so I'll just play it out. If I, I can't, if I double block the Byway Courier, I lose both creatures. He gets the better end of that deal. If I double block the Thornhide Wolves, he can only kill one of my creatures. He's going to kill the Emissary. I'm going to end up taking six damage, putting me down to five. If I don't block anything, I go down to one. I could block the courier just with the emissary, force him to pump. And then I take four. And it still trades, but then he gets to draw a card. I think I just double block the wolves and take the six. Okay. Well, that's definitely something. problem I'm going to give him the option to trade here. He's he's not going to take it, but I would rather give him the option than not at all, you know. Now I block the courier, or tap down the courier. This gives me another turn. I can block the topple guy. I can block with the topple guys, but since he can only do four damage here, I'd rather just take the damage. Okay. And yeah, that's that's just game. Um
Well, I put it, I put him in a position here where he's basically forced to attack with both if he wants to, if he wants to threaten lethal. Or he can just do that, and <laughs> yeah, that's that's game. Okay, um, so he's basically green red. Beat down humans. I I don't even know. It's like he tried to go green red werewolves, and he only get got half the cards. Um. I think I actually want Inquisitor's Ox for this matchup. The Chaplain is fine, even if it gets picked off by Dual Shot, it's fine. Um. Unruly Mob might not be bad here. Let's, um... I think I'm going to drop a Logger for the Ox, because I don't want to... Because the Loggers are just going to get shot down. Um... It's probably about the best I'm going to do right now. I, On the one hand, Vessel of Ephemera does put out creatures that can get shot down by dual shot. On the other hand, if he wants to blow a, a card on, on killing my 1-1s, one I'm not sure I really care all that much. Plus, the if I take out the Vessel, it's harder for me to activate Delirium, which is the real issue. Um... Yeah, I think this is probably fine. On the one hand, I kind of want to bring an Unruly Mob because it feels like this is a matchup where a lot of things are going to be dying. On the other hand, I don't really want it to get shot down immediately. And if there are a lot of... If it ends up getting going into a stall, Unruly Mob just ends up not doing anything because it just sits there as a 1-1. Yes, I would love to play first. It's a little slow, but I think I can keep this. I have all my colors. I have Vessel on turn two. Being on the play helps. Ooh, neglected heirloom. I'm definitely going to want to kill whatever he puts that on first. Yeah, I don't care about that. Well... Nah, I'll kill it. Because then I can just run my Moreland Drifter out. That was causing me a lot of issues last game, so... Let's uh, see if he wants to block. No? Okay. Unfortunately, I can't block and uh, block and pump with that thing out. But let's uh, let's see what he wants to do. Yeah, he's just so afraid of <laughs> of blocking and getting hit by a pump spell or something. Yeah, let's uh, pitch a swamp. Ooh. Good 
go ahead and swing. That would have been... Maybe he's sitting on, like, a bunch of red cards. I don't know. I have no idea what he's doing. So, I think I just play my mana here. Because with, um... With the Gitrog monster in play, I'm just not going to be hitting my sixth land anytime soon. Sure. Let's, uh, let's pitch a planes, I guess. <laughs> and now I can just get my planes back. Um, he's at eight life. He has to block the Gitrog monster. I think I'm fine with swinging with everything here. I mean, you, you know you just die, right? Does... What is what does it have? Sure. I mean uh wolf or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can save my creature and it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just game. Um I don't know what he was doing. I mean he played a lot of red in the first game. Maybe he just didn't get his uh didn't get his red cards or his red lands rather or maybe he just switched up his deck in between games i don't know what the deal was but his deck looked very very scattered um i think the only reason why i even lost the second game is because i got flooded so hard so it was a bit of a weak matchup but that's how it goes sometimes anyways uh that's round two we'll see you back here in round three